Hey, what is going on, you beautiful people? Welcome back to Ron Jen 1080p, and I'm back with a seven days to die video for you guys. I'm going to be going over electricity pretty fast, and I'm going to repeat myself at times so I can make sure it's sticking in you guys' heads. If you guys are new to the channel, please be sure to drop a like down. You want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you think in the comment section. For the first thing I'm going over is, you know, electricity. There's going to be three things that output our electricity. The first thing that everybody's going to run into is the generator bank. Let me go over this real quick. As you guys see, you put engines in it. You already know where to find engines from. A lot of stuff you can get from vehicles. So you want once you be able to craft it, go buy it, you make you a generator bank. Then you want to uh, put engines in it, and you're also going to need gasoline to fuel it. And once you do that, you want to turn it on. There's another one I don't have to unlock, but I'm going to just mention them for the video. There are, this one right here, I don't have unlocked that you can use. This is called the battery bank. You're going to put car batteries in it, and as time go on, the batteries will degrade. The way you recharge the batteries is using, you can use the generator bank, the, one, the first one I just showed you, to recharge the batteries inside of it. And then once it recharges, you go back to using it to output an energy. And there's also another one called the solar. The solar is the same way. It has batteries in it, but it will recharge itself automatically in the day in the daytime. So let's get straight into connecting. This is our output. You're going to need a wire to the one you see in my hand right now. Okay, once you have your wire tool, you can connect it straight to the thing that you want to power. It has to be in range, though. You see this light bulb right here? I want it to have power. See, I have it connected straight to the light bulb. And once I turn this on, it'll light up. But let's say I got a light bulb that is uh, further away and I want to connect it. These relays right here are pretty much like a stitching cord. Think of this as your stitching cord. You want to connect it from your power source, put it in your stitching cord. Then you want to come from your stitching cord and then connect it to you further away you can keep uh crafting them relays for a long way and just keep connecting and connecting you got to make sure your output you have enough now in your uh, engines because i only can do 50 i'm already using six watts right now if i want to use more i add more engines in you see on my max output is 50 you see i'm gonna turn it off add another engine in and now i can do 100 and as you guys see, this is what it do. Now, let's say I want to add a switch to the light bulb. So you want to uh, use this, and you can use the switch right here. Very simple. You take, run your connector to the switch. And well, you don't, you don't need the relay, really. So you can connect it from the relay, I mean, from your switch, and go straight to your light bulb. Now it's connected to the light bulb. Now let's say you want to turn the lights on at night. You got everything connected. You just hit the switch right here. Light come on. Same thing go for your, your weapons. So let's uh, disconnect this. You really can leave it all connected. I'm just showing you for the video to make it a little bit more simpler. So you can run it straight from the relay. Your stitching cord. Connect, connect, take it, and connect it straight to your turret. Now you got a, a working turret now. I have bullets in it, and now any zombies come into range, it'll shoot them. And that is how you use, like, electricity one-on-one. -on -one. These are your extension cords, and you can use these any way you like as a switch. You connect it from your power source and go straight to your light bulb. And then now you got to switch for a light bulb. You can even use the switch for this as well. So you can just disconnect that. Put that here to your relay. Let's say if it's out of it, like it's your far away. And you can just run it straight from your switch. To your thing. Now if you want to turn it off, let's say you leave and you want to conserve energy and everything like that. You can just turn this off. And now it'll be off. You just hit that and turn it on. Now I have an electrical fence. Electrical fences are just pretty much the same way. Just connect this. This is my electrical fence, a little small fence. And you use wires to connect it. You 
take it, connect, and then connect. See, so I do is put it. I made two of them. You put one down in the ground right here, and then you connect it over there. Then you can see the electricity flowing. Now, when you want to power it, you know you go to your your main source. Come here, connect it here, and now you got a working electrical fence. Now anything walk through it, it'll get zapped. I just zap myself. Anything walk through it will get zapped. And remember, you can use this generator bank, the battery bank, or the solar. The battery bank, once again, the way it had, takes battery, the batteries will degrade after the time. So the way to recharge the batteries is you can use a generator bank. Connect it to there, and then it'll start to recharge the batteries. The batteries go back to full. And also the solar panel one, solar panels will, is the same way like the battery bank. The only thing is in the daytime, it will recharge your batteries. It's very expensive, kind of in-game type of thing. But the first thing everybody's going to run it with is the generator. Now, if you want to get into more details about the other electricity things, let me know in the comment section and let me know when you guys are ready. And then I'll make another advanced video on more electricity and things like that thank you guys for tuning into the channel hopefully i make this very simple for you guys you know your power and you can run it straight to there turn the light on you can use the relays as these are your extension cords so if you got a light bulb way over there you just place these like in between like every five blocks or so or whatever to run it way over there and then it'll work and also your switches are the same thing you can use it here to the switch to your power and then when you want to turn it on you just hit the switch it's very very simple let's not make it difficult guys thanks for tuning into the channel catch you beautiful people in the next one